Welcome to the new City Market Watch, where we concisely unpack all you need to know on important topics. With me today, Audrey Cheong, City Gold Private Client Portfolio Counselor. Hello, everyone. Well, I don't mean to sound insensitive, but it feels like Christmas has suddenly come early. Equity markets, especially US markets, have had a significant reset, with January's weakness being the worst on record, which I'm curious, Audrey, reminds you of which wonderful market adage? Money is made when you buy and not when you sell. Thanks, Audrey. And just to be clear, we are not making any comments about buying or selling or timing the market. But what we do want to highlight in all this volatility and chaos are the long-term capital market assumptions and the cross-market asset opportunities. Audrey, what has ruffled markets? Inflation has triggered dramatic moves by the Fed and markets. Now, a year ago in January, the markets were very relaxed, pricing in rate hikes maybe in 2024. And by August, as inflation prints crept up, these expectations shifted to 2023. And then quite suddenly, after the December FOMC minutes, markets are now pricing in four rate hikes starting from March and the abrupt ending of quantitative easing. Indeed. Uh, Fed Chair Jerome Powell also added to this hawkishness in his podium Q&A, avoiding questions about the possibility of a 50 basis point hike, saying they needed to be humble and nimble. It really is extraordinary and again, not to be insensitive, exciting. Audrey, in terms of this reset, could you share with us the outlook and assumptions across different asset classes and strategies? As we highlighted in our 2022 outlook, Growth and earnings remain positive at 4 and 7 to 8% respectively. Now remember, returns follow earnings and growth, and this is also in line with long or longer term assumptions. And importantly, inflation, which is a key driver and determinant of current market moves and sentiment, will moderate to 3%. Much of this is statistical, yet in addition to one-off demand-side pandemic stimulus and supply-side bottlenecks, we know that aging demographics, global trade, and e-commerce or technology remain very persistent long-term deflationary detractors. Audrey, with this reset, where are the other asset classes? Well, commodities continues to not just be an inflation hedge, but remain structurally in a deficit given elevated post-pandemic demand. The transition to cleaner green solutions and constrained supply. Now, Asia stars are aligned and we see attractive valuations, strong earnings, and for this year, double that of developed markets, strong economic growth, and most importantly, policy support from the PBOC. On interest rates and credit, remember, we are talking about duration and outright yields. We are still coming off zero or low rates, and so we need to avoid duration risk and keep maturities short. And as much as possible relative to credit quality, we want to own positive real yields. Thank you, Audrey. Let me add on foreign exchange. Yes, the dollar looks supported on Fed rate hikes, but given growth and earnings differentials, the large US current account deficit, this paints a more neutral range-bound view. January has been a very volatile month for equities, as mentioned, the worst on record for the US. It's important to take stock, and review different asset class strategies, and especially their long-term assumptions. Please listen to our podcast where we will dive deeper on these issues and speak to your City Gold or City Gold private client relationship manager to reassess the cross-market opportunities amidst this volatility and market correction.